Hello everybody, so uh, the other week we put out a bit of a, what would you call it, a public survey to get your opinions on what we should be doing to improve our channel. And one of the bits of feedback that we got was that you seem to quite like it when we write songs. So we've decided today, first video of 2019, we are going to do that. Yeah. Happy New Year by the way, but I think it's kind of makes sense because... We've had a bit of an internal debate about this in the past, whereas is it actually possible to show songwriting in an entertaining way? Because it's not really an entertaining thing to do because there's a lot of trial and error, there's a lot of doing this a million times and then deciding it's shit. But we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. What are we gonna write today? Okay, so we decided we're going to write a song that is influenced by bands like Idols, Life, I don't know. I guess the new era of punk yeah. yeah, sort of this kind of like catchy but still kind of gritty indie punk that's come about. I guess to a lesser extent like Blinders, because they've got that kind of vibe but not that kind of genre, I think. Yeah, I think, I think they've got the same kind of energy but not the same kind of sound. Mm. And not the same kind of songwriting because they're the three-piece kind of way that they're They're more of a is. rock band, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So, we're going to go in with those influences, but we don't want to just kind of write a song like them. So if you hear the song next week in theory, um, and it's completely different from the three kind of influences that we've just said, in theory, that's actually a good thing. So we're not going to try and go, oh, we can't do that because that doesn't sound like idols or anything like that. That's just kind of what we're going into this with. If we write something that sounds nothing like those bands, we might still use it. It's also been a very, very long time since we did a Let's Write a Song. Sorry. I suppose before anything, do we want to get a tempo? Do we want... Oh, yeah, to tempo. Okay. So we probably need something that's got like that kind of drive to it, that kind of... Why don't we uh, try doing a bit of a drum part. Okay. So a drum part that would be like the... Heavy bit? Yeah, the, the bit. The bit. Yeah. We have a few options kind of going into it, mm. in the the sound is very, very different depending on how we do this. Mm -hmm. So we can either probably write something using like power chords and stuff, which obviously has that kind of drive to it. But what I think a lot of these bands that we are using as influence do is the kind of full chord kind of thing. But yeah, I think yeah. some of them use that with a little bit of disregard for theory in that sometimes they might just keep it as a major chord all the time, even on chords where it shouldn't, mm -hmm. which sometimes makes it feel a little bit out of place in that kind of, not punky sound, but that kind of, it don't overly feel right. Like if you're playing um, C major and then you're playing E minor, it, it's it got that like, ooh, flavor kind of thing. And I think some bands do that unintentionally. C major and E minor are the right. E, e minor. major. Oh, you said E minor. But I played E major. You know when these bands do, like they do the chord sequences, how do they do it? Do they do it like just a chord sequence or do they do like in between chords or do they do like I don't know. Is it like? Yeah. Is that is that what you kind of mean? Like, did they add more flares in? Or yeah, like? yeah. Either of those two would okay. work in the kind of thing that we're doing. I kind of like that. Sound. See that then falls into that that I was on about where I should be going to a minor, but I'm not. It, it sounds minor. better that you're not. I know, but that, that's what I'm talking about. It's that kind of. Yeah. It sounds kind of like punk, even though you don't realise it. Yeah, I think that I kind of like that. Okay. It's A up to B down to F sharp. Do you think that's that's closer to like a riff slash verse in it? I think. to be a bit quicker, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that, yeah. I think that'd go nicer with like a lower guitar thing, you know, like maybe a power chordy thing or something. Playing basically the same thing? Maybe, yeah. That kind of, that kind of groove. Or... That kind of dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, yeah, I think that'd be better. I think that's better. Yeah. Cool. If there was a way to manage the snare sound, because I don't know if it's just on speakers or whatever, but the snare is much louder than the rest. Oh, that's what I was missing. Cool. 
Cool, you happy with that? Yes. Okay. What do you want to do now? Do you want to do the bit that Cynthia would come before this? Do you think this is how it's going to start? No, I think we should build this section in full as a riff section. Okay. Or whatever. Cool. Equivalent. And then <sighs> decide what should go where and oh, okay. how. I've got a feeling it might actually benefit from some form of melody. Maybe. But not, not, not a melody as in like... I don't know, don't know how to explain this. I don't like that D. I like the A, C sharp to D, but not the D. I don't know, I don't know where I think going lower would benefit. Well, that's to the actual note. No, as in to the... You know you've been doing the A to the C sharp to the B. Mm. Keep that as is, but then instead of going higher, go lower after the B. The only issue there is that I can either go to root, mm -hmm. well, root of that current chord, or the third, which is technically half key. Try the third, maybe. Okay, yeah, I need to work out the time. That's technically that section built now. Alright. So do we want to start it? Is it like start song? Yeah, okay. So I don't think it needs much. No. I think it needs something so that that impact yeah, is yeah. an impact. I think a solo guitar section of some kind would be nice. Obviously not like that. Uh, maybe like some form of... I don't know, say you took the main progression and put it into like a... No, not, not just like... Not, not like that, like... That's not like Jake Bug. Sorry. <laughs> what if we had like a... Woo! <laughs> I do like, you know like the fucking Rival Bones song? That's got the snare hit, uh, the hot blood that I made the video for it. Right. Um, they've got like a riff, it's just like... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then it goes snare in, but on the snare they go woo. Yes, I think, I think yeah, we should do that I when guess. we we stop the guitar completely and they just like a, a vocal that just like does a thing like yeah and then, then goes in. Okay, oh, that'd be really cool. Okay. Please let it not be a yeah because I like woo. I like because it's right. it's got something to it that's just okay. nice. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay, alright, for a verse, I think we need to keep the same kind of like upbeat tempo, but maybe just pull some of the guitars out. Maybe just like sounding guitar. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I could have it just like last out. And do it like as if like what a band would actually do live. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. just stop. It'd probably do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. And then actually mm. stop for like the second half. I think that. we should drop the drums down, but not energy-wise. Like maybe just replace the crash with the hat or something. I'm currently using hi hats. Oh, okay. Uh, um, you happy with me with copy and paste, didn't you? Uh, yes, of course. Why would I not be happy with that? I don't know. Some people don't like it. I know, that, I know that I've written many, many songs with you, but it's been so long, I just don't know where your morals currently lie. Right. Well, they're currently lying underneath my sofa somewhere. Yeah, 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 that's a look at you. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that second. I'm not so sure that both the left and the right guitar should remain the same. Okay, well, we can change them, like change one of them for the verse. Or I don't know. have one of them come in for the second half doing the thing and not the centre, so then when a chorus comes in it actually sounds yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think some kind of like melody, but a melody that is not not a finger picking melody, but like a using multiple notes at once kind of melody. That, that kind of shit, yeah, but not that, because that was not that was shit. But not just like a doo -doo 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 -doo. We're not the fucking killers. Yeah, but we could be if we wanted to be. No, we couldn't. Yeah. Okay. 
That's it needs to start on a different card. It needs to start on four or five, in my opinion. Probably four. What about if it was more of a pre-chorus? That's also fine. If it's pre-chorus, we definitely need a dynamic change, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, I, th I still think keeping that same kind of energy, you know, the same kind of... <clears throat> I think we should probably just die down to, like, bass and drums here. Okay. Just for a little, little right, short pre-chorus. Right. But the... You could, like, we could literally mimic the same riff around the fourth. There, there. Oh. Yeah, that, yeah. So it's literally the same <laughs> transition. Because it's actually in key. Mm. Like the same intervals work in key, which is mm. really handy. I suppose it depends what it's going to be leading into. I think a big chorus that starts with root would work with better. Root. Okay, so at least you know if you're going to fill into something, fill into root. Yeah. Why don't you just do the, the same note but higher? That's what I was going to do, yeah. And yeah. you get away with sliding all the way up on the same string that you're on. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Mm. Or just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really, like that? that? Yeah. When I'm on the B, and then we just drop down to the root, it's not really a lead-in. What's the main riff that we're playing here? It's... Yeah. And that's the root. F-sharp is actually the root. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. To me, that's how it sounds. No, it sounds like the power. Thing, yeah. Isn't it? So what we're in fucking F sharp minor. I guess so. <laughs> is that that? Well, we don't have to think. Yeah, about it is. Look, because it's A major. And F sharp minor is the fucking. Okay. Well, that. Okay. So we need to ignore theory a lot with this kind of thing because we're uh, yeah. especially doing as majors and minors don't matter anyway. If we start a chorus on F sharp, that's probably going to be good anyway because that's another. I think that will work well because I'm on B. Uh, wrong place. What I might do, instead of slide up to B for the second one, is like do to that. Because that goes down to that. Better. Then that's down to F sharp better. Yeah. You know, I'm going to the high B for the. Definitely for the second one. Do you want me to do it for the first one as well, or do you not want to? No, I, th I think the doing it on the All second right. one implies that something's coming here. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? And no, I need to plug in. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. I think your E may be the issue. Okay. I'll fold the E off then. Or I can play the E. That, 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 that no, don't no? play the E. Okay. Shall I keep that tape then? Yeah, and then I'll do it again. Okay. And then we'll listen. Well, let, let me just do the right, and then. That makes sense, doesn't mm -hmm. it? They've actually got, got, got the stereo. So I'll just bin you off for a second. Yeah, the, the E don't work at all. I think we're getting that kind of really kind of noisy mm -hmm. sounding thing that I was on about earlier across, which I like. Yep. Yep, happy. Let's go. Save it. Cool. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Nice. 
I don't know if we're going to go to a bridge to call this, but I'll just... Yeah. What should we do for the bridge? Some form of maybe riffy bit. Riffy bit. Yeah, maybe that's not as chordy. That would be the definition yeah, of riffy. Yeah, alright, yeah. A little bit like kind of syncopated camera flow though. Like that kind of almost funky kind of thing. What I was kind of picturing was either one bass or one guitar doing it for a few bars and then it coming in heavy. the same riff? I would say so. Easy for you. Probably where we need to actually do the t and t and t and again, but on the crashes this time and make it really kind of messy and uh. nasty, I think. Just kind of a yeah, yeah. like my. I'll just do that in between those. Because that being a bit messy and a bit things not out yeah, the other way anyway. Okay. Maybe two. Maybe two. That's quicker. do we do then? I don't know, just, I um, think we need the low power chord thing in as well. I was going to say the high power chord thing, but fair enough. I think we need you something lower there because you're like, we're missing an octave in between me and you. So what? So maybe just like, what's that like? E So you didn't want A, B, you want to be A. I didn't say that, but that works, yeah. The pre-chorus. The pre-chorus. Which apparently, in British songwriting, right, we'll do this here because this is educational. Apparently, in British songwriting, what we always call a pre-chorus, which is the bit that leads from a verse into a chorus, in British songwriting, that is normally called a bridge. Which is where the phrase middle eight comes from, because middle eight is normally used to describe what, in American songwriting, is called the bridge. Well, a bridge just means a section that converts one part into another, which makes more sense for a pre-chorus. It does. Which most British language does make more sense with the way that it's been done. Football is using your feet. And then... And then back into the pre-chorus. Pre -chorus. You know something else I figured out today as well? What's that? Why do we have a different word? Why do we have the word appliance and application? That's like I'm having a walking. Yeah, it's basically two minutes, 35. Nice, I'm happy with that. I am also happy with that. Um, good sound, it's got like a good, like really, it's got the noisy sound that we were going for. Yeah, which is why I was on about this guitar being, I mean, before we brought you into this, but, this new guitar is like because it's single coil it's crispy so you can have those horrible like fuzzers mm. while still maintaining clarity on what's actually being played okay so instrumentally that is done the drums need some work i'll do that separately um we are definitely doing a part two to this video next week where we will actually record the vocals <coughs> in because good timing i'm uh not as ill as i've been but I'm not going to be able to do very good vocal takes this week at all. So, we won't try. What do we actually want the song to be about? I don't know. Because a lot of these bands that we are referencing do a lot of stuff that's either political or kind of social commentary or... Um, I mean, the, the kind of modern punky bands are 
and I suppose this is why they named the album what they did, kind of happy being positive in such a way that it kind of pisses the people off that don't agree with the thing that they're saying. Hence the title of the new Idols album, Joy as an Act of Resistance. Because I guess like Danny and Adelka are literally just kind of being about accepting people and being happy and doing whatever. Like mm. my best friend is an immigrant. No, my blood brother is an immigrant. A beautiful immigrant is literally just saying positive things. But it's done in such a way that it's meant to piss yeah, I, people I know off. What you mean, yeah. um, and I don't know whether or not we should do that with this. No, because I, I know from my personal, whatever you want to call it, I don't think I would be able to write something in that way. No, no, no. And, I, and I don't think we should, it. because I think that is something that these bands have, and we shouldn't just mimic. Mm. I think we should do something similar to what we did with My Friend Can't Park. Maybe we should take an issue, or I don't know. I don't want to say an issue because I don't, <laughs> don't want to imply social issue or any shit like that. Uh -huh. Maybe we should just take something and personify it, and then I don't know. So with this, what I'll do, um, because this, I, I guess, this is the end of part one. Um, normally, I don't show you any of this until it's finished and rightly so because I don't want to just show you something that's not finished but what I'll actually do is the last section of this video when we say bye I'll give you the kind of instrumental unmixed what we've just written so you can kind of listen to it get a gist of it maybe I'll not show you all of it maybe I'll just show you a bit to try and get it because obviously you've only been hearing it through the laptop speaker I'll do the actual render but without any mixing just so you can get a bit of a gist so then next week everything makes a bit more sense so then when we actually come to do the vocals you understand the track a little bit more and then when we actually show you the final track it's not like completely new if that makes sense is that cool with you? Is that cool with you? cool right so next week we'll do part two um, we'll get the vocals done and I will mix presumably off screen because it's really boring watching someone mix cool thank you very much for watching uh, this series is back hope you like it um, yeah we'll see you next week <laughs>